10 Ultraviolent Flash Moments Where He Unleashed His Berserker Rage Superman and Batman are two of the most popular DC superheroes on paper, but it is very common for more diehard fans to have an affinity toward the Flash. For those who are not so well versed with the phenomenal speedster, super speed might not come off as the coolest ability, but it actually is. And with Flash's versatility, it is one of the best abilities throughout the DC-verse, not just in terms of strength, but also in terms of how it affects the storyline, thanks to concepts such as the Speed Force, Time Travel, and the Flashpoint. As a solo hero from Central City and a member of the Justice League, the Flash has gone against his fair share of villains, be it to save the world, the multiverse, or to save his friends, and his entanglement with time travel has put him into desperate times, causing him to use desperate measures. In today's video, we will go over such moments where Barry Allen's Flash has gone absolutely berserk in his fights and against his enemies throughout several forms of media such as live action films, live action television, and animation. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Flash defeats Brainiac Luthor while the entire Justice League is down. Justice League Unlimited, 2001. Kicking off the list with the 12th episode of Justice League Unlimited Season 2, Flash goes haywire in a fight against a Brainiac-powered president Lex Luthor in the episode Divided We Fall. The episode begins with the Justice League members and Amanda Waller witnessing Brainiac inside the body of Lex Luthor. This new power amp effectively cures Luthor's kryptonite poisoning. There is a fight against the Justice League, which does more than enough to prove the power of Brainiac Luthor, depicting him as a terrifying villain for this arc. I'll be dipped. Be gone. This Luthor is under Brainiac's control, who is using him as a temporary vessel until he finds a more suitable host body. Meanwhile, Luthor offers to expose Brainiac to the higher world of imagination. They seek out the power of the Dark Heart, which is a specimen of advanced alien tech that can constantly reconstruct itself using nanotechnology. This creates an ultimate fusion between Luthor and Brainiac, and Luthor also gets an android-like body as a result. Together, they can now absorb all the knowledge on Earth and the universe, and subsequently destroy destroy them to remake the entire reality as per their liking. The hybrid conjures replicas of the Justice Lords to make them battle their League counterparts. It also instills their worst fears within them to weaken them in battle. Despite the struggles, the League is able to defeat their doppelgangers. However, they are still unable to do anything about the Luthor-Brainiac hybrid, which finally brings us to Flash taking the matter into his own hands. With every League member knocked out and Flash being the last one standing, everything rests on the shoulders of the speedster. Brainiac Luthor attacks Flash with guards made of their nanotech. He then squares up to kill Flash and carry on with his Armageddon plan, when a cornered Flash vibrates his arms to free himself from the restraints of the nanotech guard. Brainiac Luthor mocks him again as he is aware that Flash is not strong enough to fight him, so Flash changes his direction and runs. He suddenly appears from the opposite direction and lands a blow on the hybrid. He uses the power of the Speed Force to run around the world in a matter of seconds, and with each lap, he lands a huge blow on Brainiac Luthor. Each blow tears away parts of the android armor, and Flash then makes his fastest run ever, zapping into the Speed Force, cutting through oceans and wrecking havoc on Luthor. When he is done, he stands atop a knockdown Brainiac Luthor as his body vibrates furiously with the power of the Speed Force. Flash then vibrates his arms, tearing off the armor from Brainiac Luthor's body, leaving him with nothing. Ultimately, Luthor is left in a crater, naked. The League members regain consciousness, and Flash looks at them, but suddenly, he says that he feels funny and fades away. Fortunately, the League is later able to bring him back from the Speed Force. Flash burns himself to death to get his power back. Justice League, The Flashpoint Paradox, 2013. The 2013 animated movie Justice League, The Flashpoint Paradox, witnesses Barry Allen go back in time and save his mother, Nora Allen, from death. This creates a ripple effect in the time stream, altering every event just by a bit. Barry wakes up in a new world of the Flashpoint, where his mother is alive, his lover is married to another man, and the Flash does not exist. Here, Atlantis and the Amazons are at war because of Diana killing Mira after being attacked by her. 
Superman does not exist, and Batman is actually Dr. Thomas Wayne, who lost his son Bruce Wayne on that night at Crime Alley. Barry Allen learns of the existence of a superhero Batman in this world, and seeks him out, only to learn the truth behind the man. He lets him in on the fact that he comes from a timeline where Bruce had survived, which prompts a more cautious Thomas Wayne to help Barry out. But first, he must recreate the accident that gave Barry the power of the speedster. Barry is strapped to a chair, surrounded by chemicals. The chair has a lightning rod attached to it. As Barry hopes to get struck by lightning again, and the storm taking place right at the moment seems to be of great help, Batman believes that Barry is insane enough to end up in Arkham Asylum for forcing himself to go through this. But this is something that must be done. Lightning strikes and Barry's body catches fire. Batman douses the fire to save him, but Barry's body gets burnt. The plan fails and Batman is forced to treat a severely injured Barry Allen. During this time, Barry also begins to get new memories. Memories he would have had if he belonged to his timeline from the beginning. He also realizes that this might cause him to lose his older memories. Stuck in a desperate situation, Barry decides to put himself through the accident again. Once again, Batman thinks he is insane and this time, Barry asks him to douse the fire earlier. Lightning hits a severely injured, burnt, and bandaged Barry and this time, he is able to tap into the speed force as the time around him seems to slow down. The effect knocks Batman out and almost kills him, but now that Barry is a flash once again, he is fast enough to save him and heal his body. Flash goes beast mode, reverses time, and saves the Justice League, Zack Snyder's Justice League. 2021. The original Justice League film from the DC Extended Universe had one key Flash moment, the one where he helped bring Superman back to life by activating the Mother Box. However, the film was far from being what the Justice League fans truly wanted, which prompted them to make petition after petition for Zack Snyder's version of the movie. The Justice League Snyder Cut was finally released in 2021, and the premise was quite similar with Steppenwolf coming to Earth via the Mother Boxes and trying to terraform the planet. However, he also brought in Darkseid, who was the primary villain behind Steppenwolf, as he had previously tried to take over Earth with the Mother Boxes. With a big threat being posed and Steppenwolf and his Parademon army being a handful for the newly formed Justice League, they had to bring Superman back to life. The plan worked out and initially an amnesiac Superman went against the entire League. However, the presence of Lois Lane was able to bring him back to his senses. On the other hand, Steppenwolf needed all three mother boxes to create the unity and terraform Earth into his homeworld. The five heroes, minus Superman, travel to Russia as Steppenwolf is trying to create unity there. However, they fail, even though Superman arrives and subdues Steppenwolf. With Earth compromised, Barry must do something to prevent the disaster from happening. The Flash gives himself a pep talk and taps into the Speed Force. He runs fast enough to break the barriers and change the past, buying Victor, or Cyborg, and Superman enough time to prevent the unity in the past. Thankfully, the plan succeeds, and the unity is prevented. Steppenwolf is decapitated soon after, and his body is sent to Apocalypse via a portal. Flash becomes Savitar and kills his wife Iris. CW's Flash, Season 3. CW's Flash introduced Savitar as a villain for his third season. The season kicks off with Barry creating Flashpoint just like the 2013 film Flashpoint Paradox. This changes everything, and we get to see how the rules of time travel begin to apply less and less to those who engage in it. With every instance of time travel, Barry leaves behind his remnants, creating other versions of himself. One of these remnants turns out to be Savitar, a darker version of Barry, who was shunned by his friends for not being like the Barry they knew. Heartbroken and dejected, Savitar rejected the world and tried to become a god. He first had to kill his lover Iris. The existence of Barry Allen also put his existence in jeopardy, so he had to alter Barry's life in a way that he will be forced to turn to the dark. This is where Iris comes into play as a big story arc. The season revolves around Savitar killing Iris and Barry going above and beyond to stop the disastrous event from happening. But when Barry learns of Savitar's true identity, we are really made to feel for the villain. Every time remnant of Barry Allen was killed by a future version of the Flash, but Savitar had managed to live. Despite getting his chance at life, he went through being shunned by his friends for being an aberration. Being broken and alone forced him to seek out godhood, as he did not want to feel the pain any longer. And for that reason, he kickstarted his journey by killing the love of his life, not just for himself, but for the other Barry Allen as well.
Flash unleashes his full power, CW's Flash, Season 8. In the beginning of the eighth season of CW's Flash, that is, the one from the Arrowverse, Flash reveals his true identity to the supervillain Despero to prove his honor. However, Flash's actions are set to cause Armageddon in 2031, which is somehow triggered by all of Flash's loved ones dying, causing him to lose his sanity. It is also imminent that Despero will turn Barry insane, but both Cecile and Barry have had a hard time believing it. Meanwhile, another metahuman villain named Zotar continues to be an obstacle. Iris finds leads that connect Zotar to Despero. Zotar is a metahuman who can control minds. Iris believes that catching her would be a huge help, as she thinks Zotar is behind controlling Barry's mind to going rogue in the future. Soon after, Zotar and the Flash face one another at a diamond heist. The crisis is averted, but not for long, as Zotar returns to go against the Flash. Chester learns of Zotar's presence and tries to alert Barry about it, but it is too late. Barry's comms cut off and Zotar uses her mind control powers to steal from Central City Museum. The Flash arrives to help the people, but he falls victim to her telekinesis. As he is lifted upwards and is more or less handicapped by not being able to tap into the speed force, Flash finds a way out. He begins to vibrate the molecules within his body on a very microscopic level. Zotar crushes his bones, and Barry is in unreal pain, but he does not stop. The lightning builds up more and more within him, giving him access to the speed force. Ultimately, it creates a shockwave that takes down Zotar. Flash pushes himself beyond his limit. Justice League, The Flashpoint Paradox, 2013 we have already spoken about Justice League The Flashpoint Paradox before. Barry Allen subjects himself to lightning twice to recreate the incident that made him a metahuman and is finally the Flash once again. However, he is unable to enter the Speed Force and prevent his past self from saving his mother. This is because of Reverse Flash's presence in this timeline. And with two speedsters present, there is not enough Speed Force for Barry to tap into. Let Lois Lane see me, you know. I knew it would bring you. Towards the end of the movie, when the battle between the Amazonians and the Atlanteans reaches its climax, Flash goes against his nemesis, Reverse Flash. Flash is overpowered, but Thomas Wayne's Batman arrives at the nick of time to kill the Reverse Flash. On the other end, Aquaman's army has been slaughtered, his arm chopped off by Superman's heat vision, and finally, he is stabbed in the back by Wonder Woman. Cornered, he decides to use his ultimate weapon. Captain Adam, who has been overcharged with energy. His plan works, and Captain Adam is made to release a wave of destructive energy that begins to destroy the world. The Flash and Batman watch as the world ends, when Batman tells him, The only way to save this world is to keep this world from ever happening. Now that Reverse Flash is dead, Barry can enter the Speed Force. As the destruction closes in on him, Barry stumbles due to his injury and does what he does best. Run. He runs and runs until he enters the Speed Force. He tries to catch up to his past self as he notices the other Barry heading towards the past to save his mother. Even though they are the same person, this Barry has to run faster than the other to stop the latter. He gets closer to the other Barry who is shocked by the experience. He is swatted away, but ultimately, he manages to grab Barry from the back and stop him from changing the past. Flash Beats Omega Rays Justice League War, 2014. Justice League War explores Darkseid and his forces of parademons invading Earth and trying to terraform it. The live-action Justice League film is pretty similar to this one, especially with the mother boxes being examined and ultimately creating the boom tube that brings the invasion to Earth. With parademons attacking the Earth, the Justice League superheroes, who had previously fought each other and had been suspicious of one another, come together to work as a team. Meanwhile, the film also walks us through the origin story of Cyborg, with Victor being born of the Mother Box technology, among several others. Enabled. His connection to the box as Cyborg allows him to learn about Darkseid, the Parademons, Apocalypse, and their plan to terraform Earth. Soon after, Darkseid arrives and proves to be a formidable foe for even the likes of Superman. His Omega Rays are stronger than Superman's heat vision in the sense that the rays lock onto their target and chase them until they hit a mark. This basically means that you cannot dodge or outrun it. You can only maneuver your way around the ray to make it hit something else that is not you. During the fight, Darkseid uses his Omega Rays against Superman and the Flash. Since both of them are super fast, they run for their lives. 
However, since the rays have locked onto both of them, the Omega rays split, with one ray following Flash while the other follows Superman. With such a handicap, Flash powers through by thinking faster than he runs. He runs across a league of parademons and crisscrosses around them. The ray that chases him follows his motion and instead of hitting Barry, the rays take out all of the parademons in that crisscross motion. And finally, Barry is safe. Unfortunately, Superman takes the hit and is captured. Flash dies to save the multiverse. CW's Flash, Season 2. The second season of CW's Flash introduces the multiverse, with Jay Garrick coming to Earth 1. Barry and his team learn about Jay being the Flash in his world, which is dubbed as Earth 2. There is obviously a new antagonist, Zoom, from Jay's Earth. However, this Jay Garrick is later revealed to be Hunter Zolomon in a plot twist, who is basically the man behind Zoom. Throughout the season, Zoom is faster than Barry Allen's Flash, but the latter eventually catches up and also gets faster. Zoom gets to Barry's father and kills him. He also challenges Barry to a race that will determine who is faster. If Barry refuses, Zoom plans to kill his loved ones. Meanwhile, Harry from Earth 2, the smartest member of Team Flash, whose Earth 1 doppelganger was Reverse Flash, learns about Zoom possessing a Magnetar, a device that can destroy the planets in the multiverse barring Earth 1. It also requires the speed of both speedsters to power it up, so Harry realizes why Zoom wants to race Barry so badly. Team Flash forces Zoom back to Earth 2, but he abducts Barry's foster father, Joe. Towards the end, Barry and Zoom race around the Magnetar, but Barry also knows that not only does he have to win, but he also has to save Joe and destroy the Magnetar. To achieve this feat, he leaves behind a Time Remnant, a temporal duplicate left by a speedster while time traveling. While the Remnant saves Joe and destroys the machine, Barry goes after Hunter Zolomon. However, the Time Remnant is not one to last forever, and it will eventually die. This is also the Remnant that later turns into Savitar, and so he doesn't really die. Meanwhile, Barry is able to overpower Zoom and leave his destruction to the Time Wraiths, who are the enforcers of the Speed Force as they take away Zoom for his crimes against the timelines. Barry Beats Despero, CW's Flash, Season 8. Barry Allen's life gets even more confusing after Despero, a super powerful alien and a former despotic ruler from planet Kalinor, is introduced to the storyline. He was banished from his planet for his crimes, following which he came to Earth. He witnessed how Barry Allen caused Armageddon in Central City that destroyed the planet, so he allegedly traveled back in time to kill Barry before he could destroy the world. Despero even asked Barry to kill Reverse Flash due to the threat he poses, all while upholding a heroic attitude as he preached how he was doing this to save the world. However, Barry refused to kill Eobard Thawne, which pitted him directly against Despero in a fight. For the longest time, Despero told the others that he was the heroic rebel leader on his home planet, but Barry knows the truth and calls Despero out on it. The two then engage in one of the fiercest battles of the series, with Despero wielding the Flame of Pytar, which is a type of fire manipulation power that is one of the strongest metahuman abilities, and Flash using his connection to the Speed Force. Even even when Despero tries to squash Barry with a car, Barry is able to use his power to hold it away. He creates a huge surge of his own power and blasts Despero and the car away. Barry heads back to his team while Despero plans to destroy Central City with the Flame of Pytar. The Team Flash comes up with an alternative to defeat the villain, and Barry decides to create a vacuum around the flames and redirect the energy into the atmosphere. To pull off this feat, he even gets a suit upgrade. Meanwhile, Despero powers up his flames as he claims that he is destroying Central City to ensure the survival of the planet. The entire area is encompassed by fire when Flash runs to the site of the disaster and creates a vacuum by running around the flames. He then runs up a skyscraper to lead the flames higher and comes soaring back down on Despero. The resulting hit causes a huge blast of fire, which subsequently destroys Despero's connection with the flame of Pytar. Flash blinds Darkseid, Justice League War, 2014. Justice League War has a lot of really cool Flash moments. We have gone over the one where he outwits Darkseid's Omega Rays by making them take out a legion of parademons, but with Superman captured, the Justice League's troubles were far from over since they needed their big gun to win the war. Bruce Wayne uses the portal that brought in the parademons to rescue Superman. Meanwhile, the rest of the Justice League continues their, with their fight against the Apocalyptean warlord that is Darkseid, and with Superman and Batman gone, the other members have to overcompensate for the absence of two of their most important 
important members. This brings in the Flash going absolutely berserk in his fight against Darkseid. Flash and Darkseid fight over water, as Flash does his best to avoid the Omega Rays once again. He runs around the water, creating a water vortex around Darkseid, and hits him at intervals. However, Darkseid regains his footing and goes after the Flash. Barry is able to hold his own by turning his arms and body into super-fast vibrating barrels that can inflict injury upon Darkseid. However, their primary issue happens to be the Omega Rays. This means the League must take Darkseid's eyes out. As Wonder Woman takes one eye out, Darkseid tries to kill her, but Flash arrives right on time and hits him from several angles. Unfortunately, Darkseid lands a huge blow on the speedster and tries to kill him with the rays again, but Green Lantern shields him and redirects the beam back to Darkseid. Later, the fight gets more intense, and Flash fights for his life. Shazam helps him out. Wonder Woman asks him to take out the other eye, and so he does, as he uses a weapon and climbs atop a building to get to Darkseid. Ultimately, both of Darkseid's eyes are neutralized, and Shazam's hit knocks him out. Considering how much Barry Allen loves his friends, Iris, and team members, you would not want to mess with this guy. This is a man who can alter timelines and cause Armageddon with his tamperings. Sure, this might be one of great inconvenience to him as well, but as an enemy, it is not the wisest of all decisions to send this speedster into a berserker rage. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one, and be safe. Thanks, everyone.